Hello everybody. So in response to having problems installing the Android extension for the uh, Eclipse, I'm going to go ahead and show you a secondary way that you can do it going directly through Android Developer. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're going to need to do is type in download Android Developer and then we're going to go ahead and download this 2.2.6 uh, for Windows if that's your uh, current operating system and we'll start the download apparently I only hint needed to download it one time so go ahead and go with the defaults make sure that the Android virtual device is installed click next I agree leave the defaults there and go ahead and install now this installation takes a minute so I will be back uh, when it's completed and we're at the next step okay notice that it has completed so we'll finish next and now we want to go ahead and start the Android developer and this takes a minute the first time you fire it up there's a lot of components that it will need and you'll notice that the Android Studio logo shows up and then this little yellow bar right here at the bottom uh, shows the installation process now once that's done it will go to loading the project here that you see now make sure you do not close the update up at the top um, because we're going to want to do that update once it's loaded so you'll click on update it will continue loading the project and notice this time um, can be rather slow so this video has been chopped to uh, get rid of all the needless waiting but it can take up to a couple of hours for the entire installation process alright so once that has shown up and you now have this my activity in the Google uh, maps API that you see there you want to go ahead and update it'll ask you to update now say update now notice the update size is 1.2 or 1.12 gigabytes and there's a lot going on now it's important here that you accept and you get little green download arrows for all of those items you'll have to do the top and the bottom separately or each little grouping okay and this process will take a while depending upon your internet and computer speed so I will pause and come back when it is completed okay great so now it's asking you to make your emulator settings I would recommend at least two gigabytes that's what I went ahead and went with for this um, which is plenty alright so choose that and then we're going to go ahead and click next and now it's going to install and download all of the emulator once that's done go ahead and click finish if there's still more components that need to be installed it will go ahead and do that and again this will could take several minutes so just be patient and once that's done click finish now the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and leave the tip of the day by the way um, those are always nice just hit next tip or close always good to have and if you notice over on the left it's building your app um, it has the app and the, the Gradle scripts and you can see on the bottom there that it's continuing now we need to run and the first time you run it it's going to tell you that there is no USB devices or emulators detected and so we need to go ahead and create a new excuse me a new virtual device so click new virtual and then click OK and you can choose any of these devices um, I'll just go with the Nexus 5 it's a nice screen you don't have to make any of the other changes unless you're doing other things like wearable or TV uh, you can go ahead and leave it with marshmallow 
And notice over here it tells you that it's the 23rd API, it's Android 6, etc. Go ahead and name it, whatever you like. And that's just the name of the virtual device so you can distinguish it from other devices as you create them. I'm going to leave it as portrait and go ahead and hit finish. And remember the installation process can be slow so don't rush it, just let it go through. And once that's done, now you have a deployable target. Notice that Nexus 5 API 23. Now I'll highlight that. Go ahead and click OK. If you want to create other virtual devices, you can do that. Now this is important. Instant run requires um, absolutely use it. So just hit the blue box. That's the default. And that's going to install a whole other group of components. But it makes your, uh, your emulator run so much quicker, especially on startup. I can remember it taking, even last year, upwards of 20 minutes to load the emulator on one of our fast school machines. Okay, so let all of that install. And notice now we have an emulator. That's the Nexus 5. And it's going to continue installing and doing a lot of things. Notice all the stuff going on here at the bottom. And when you're ready, go ahead and click Finish. Uh, just looking at all the different things that it's installing. So go ahead and click Finish. And notice now we have our emulator, so we could go to, gr to the internet if we wanted or other functions. Let me move this aside. And now we need to do our project. And this is by far the hardest part of get, is just getting set up. Once you're set up, then it's back to how you write the code. But currently, the setup can be a real pain. So we want to go ahead and just go to File, New, and New Project, and name it, in this case, Salu Mundo. And hit next. We'll go ahead and leave it for a phone and tablet. We're not doing Wear TV. Um, and you could change the API there. I would just recommend leaving it. And now you have all of these templates to pick from. And uh, in this one though, we're just going to go with the first one there, just the basic activity. You can leave this the same for now. And now it's going to create our project. And you'll see a lot of stuff going on and it's starting to build the screen. Don't worry about the little IDE failure. Just go ahead and say clear or report, whichever one you want. Okay, so now we're starting to finish our template. And notice we have a window template here that has our Android devo uh, device. So let's go ahead and enlarge it and space it out, make it a little easier for us to see. Notice we have this default text area that's what we're going to work with first. Click on it, it opens up this properties value and there at the top it says text view and the text. So let's go ahead and change that to our Salud Mundo. Okay, and I know it's hard to see but the ch text has changed and we need to go ahead and enlarge that and make it a little more uh, readable. And we can do that by the text appearance button or the rollout down here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Let's go ahead and change that to uh, 
a body display one. Notice it's nice and big. And now when we run it, we tell it to go ahead and use the Nexus 5 API 23. And here in a moment, it will load into the emulator and your first part of the project is completed. Give it a minute. Notice down here at the bottom, it has the Gradle build running. So it'll take it a moment. Okay, or maybe more than a moment. <laughs> um, it looks like it could be minutes. There it goes. All right, so now it's installing the APK, which is the, the program file, and voila. We now have almost our first Android app. It's almost there. If you're on a slower computer, this could take a while, so just be patient. And there it is. Salud mundo. So congratulations if you got to there. You are now ready to write an Android app with some other functions such as buttons. And notice we can just drag and drop and start to create changing text, the titles, things like that. And you can start to build the visual components. Of course, we still have to program the back end of it but this is a great start so play around with it like i'm doing right now drag oh let's go ahead and see here let's go ahead and uh what else do we got let's grab it grab an image in there now notice there's no image yet uh, so i'm going to go ahead and find one. Oh yeah we'll go with that Woohoo! you get a star and notice it's there, and if we hit run, then it will update our emulator. After the Gradle build runs, it'll refresh, and there it is. You get a gold star. All right, well, uh, thank you. If you have any other questions, let me know. And um, until then, keep programming. Just fight your way through. Sometimes the learning curve is steep, but it's well worth it. Take care. Bye-bye. And... There it is. You get a gold star. All right. Well, uh, thank you. If you have any other questions, let me know. And um, until then, keep programming. Just fight your way through. Sometimes the learning curve is steep, but it's well worth it. Take care. Bye-bye.